We're going to be working around fuel here, so we want to take some basic safety precautions. Work in a well-ventilated area away from any source of ignition, which could be open flame, hot water heater, hot incandescent shop lights. As always, you should be wearing your safety glasses, but now is a good time to get some chemically resistant gloves as well. Also, never work around fuel with a hot car. Pull the fuel pump relay and try and start the vehicle. This will depressurize the fuel system. Most importantly, have a properly rated and fully charged fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. You need to begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. This image illustrates the back of the driver's side front wheel well. Remove the two 8mm fasteners, green arrows, that hold the wheel well panel to the lower panel. Working underneath the car at the inner part of the lower panel, remove the two 8mm screws, green arrows, and the one 10mm fastener, yellow arrow, towards the back of the panel. The exhaust on this car has been removed for photographic purposes only. At the back of the lower panel, remove the single 10mm fastener, green arrow, that faces downwards. Working at the outer edge of the lower panel, use a door panel removal tool to pop out the five plastic rivets, green arrows. Remove the lower panel and locate the fuel filter. Loosen the four adjustable hose clamps, green arrows, that hold the fuel filter lines into the fuel filter and fuel filter lines. I would suggest discarding the old clamps and replacing them with new ones. Remove the 5mm Allen head fastener, green arrow, that mounts the fuel filter to the body. Give the fuel filter a twist to break it loose from the hoses and pull it out from the hoses. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.